uh, hey Akshay, see this. What is it? Uh, did you know that uh, we can make the exact copy of our hands with the, uh, using a technology called 3D printing? Yeah, I have heard about it. Oh, so do you know exactly how it works? I have a basic idea, but uh, a friend of mine who is working at the material science department at IIT Kanpur knows exactly how it works. Okay, that's great. Can we go and meet him? I want to know uh, exactly how it works. Yeah, sure. We can do that. We can we go now? Right, sure. Oh, let's, yeah, go. Okay, let's go. Hey Abhishek! Yeah, hi Akshay! How are you man? Fine man, fine. How are you? This is a friend of mine, Aman Paur. Hi Aman. Hi Abhishek, how are you? Fine man. Abhishek, yeah? can you tell us something about the technique called 3D printing and uh, the different materials used in it? See, 3D printing is actually a method in which we add materials to an object layer by layer so as to create the final product and it is actually a method of additive manufacturing. Uh, Abhishek, can you elaborate more on additive manufacturing? See, actually additive manufacturing is a process in which the final product is obtained by addition of successive layers of materials to a single object. And this is done until the printing of the object is finished. And this also allows us to create many complex and interesting designs. Also, if you want to know more about 3D printing, then uh, my colleagues Joydeep and Amulya, they are doing specialization in 3D printing. So let's go to them and talk to them. Hi Amulya, hi Jodi. Hi Abhishek. Meet them. Meet Akshay. Hi. Hi, hi, how are you? He's Amay. Hi. Hi. Uh, can you tell us something about 3D printing? Okay. So there are four ways of 3D printing. Uh, I will be explaining them one by one. The first one is selective layer sintering. It is an additive manufacturing technique in which we use a high power laser to fuse together small particles of metal, plastic, glass or ceramic powder to make a mass that has a specific three-dimensional shape. The second method is steered lithography. It is a process in which we use a vat of liquid UV curable photopolymer which is a type of resin and a high power UV laser to build parts a layer at a time. Computer aided design programs or CAD programs are used to create stereolithography files which are also known as STL files which can be read by the 3D printers and the corresponding uh, object is printed. STL or stereolithography file format uses many little triangles to uh, create a 3D plot of the object surface and uh, which is finally put into the 3D printer and the object comes out clearly printed as a 3D object. Now my friend Amulya will explain the other two methods of 3D printing which are also commonly used in the industry. Next, next method is FDM that is Fused Deposition Modeling. It is an additive manufacturing process which is mainly used for modeling, prototyping and production. And the last method is Laminar Object Manufacturing that is LOM. It's a rapid prototyping system developed by Helices Inc. In it, layers of adhesive, coated paper, plastic or metal laminates are successively glued together and cut to shape with a knife or a laser cutter. Also, I would like to add upon examples of materials which are used in 3D printing. Two of the most common examples are ABS, which is acrylonitrile butadiestyrene and PLA which is the polyacetic acid. These uh, both materials are being widely used in the industry because of their property of being thermoplastic. Thermoplastics are materials which on heating become soft and moldable and when they are being cooled they return to their solidified form and this ability of the materials to be processed again and again has made them so relevant in the industry. Adding to what Abhishek said, for a material to be viable for 3D printing, it has to pass through three different tests. The first one is initial extrusion into a plastic filament. The second one is a second type of extrusion and the third one is trace binding for the process of 3D printing to be complete. The PLA and ABS materials both pass these tests satisfactorily. Well ladies and gentlemen, 3D printing is an expanding technology which may soon start an industry in which everyone has the possibility of being a manufacturer. Also, 3D printing has a lot of possible benefits to the society but definitely the products created by it should be regulated. Also, this sector is facing many challenges. First of all is the intellectual property rights of the 3D printer user. Also, uh, using such kind of technology, uh, anything can be printed by 3D, uh, 3D printer. Uh, it can be used in the wrong way for the criminal activities. Well, people, we would like to end this discussion with a small video clip that gives an overview about the 3D printing technology in today's world. Thank you. Thank you.